This is really not just about learning te reo Māori at all. I, um, it's a lot deeper than that. Connecting to my roots and who I am in this country, I mean, that's what got me the most excited to do this. Yep. We are recording my song, The City, in Te Reo Māori. Ruth Smith translated the waiata for me, but I've got a little 16-year-old Oro here helping me. Can you say that line for me, please? Is that all right? Yeah. He a hātou. He a hātou. Yeah. They are Ngāti Puro, which is my iwi. Also, my family came from there. Um, I grew up in Wellington, though. <laughs> so very far away from, from that. I feel like there's a whole part of me and a whole Māori world I've obviously been so disconnected from that I'm actually just learning about it now. Last year, I went from Ricky to Ricky Reed as a rebrand of my project. It was the first time I had started asking myself questions of who am I, where do I come from? To be authentic and showcase who I am as a person. I felt like I needed to reconnect with my heritage and my background. That's what is inspiring me to be pushing that through my music. It's really weird feeling proud of your family and where you come from, but not actually knowing that much about it. I don't want to say that I'm ashamed because I know it's not been a choice for it to be like that for me, but I think it makes me, yeah, it does make me sad and it makes me want to do something about it. That's when your nanny was with the Nasi Poniki uh, Kapaka group. She loved dancing and performing mm. and uh, singing, of course. She really embraced culture. She really embraced Māori dim. She spoke it fluently mm. and, and she would love it that, you know, you're singing it. All I've ever known about Ngāti Pūrau is my nanny. Do you feel like you spent lots of time at the marae? Yeah, I, I loved going back to the marae um, because it was a time of togetherness and family. It's a really, really uh, special place. We went up, you know, when nanny was alive. But yeah, I guess times, um, you know, just changed and we didn't go up as, as much as we sh should have or could have. Yeah, Nanny was like really the glue and the, the person that kept us so connected. Yeah. I do feel like a little foreign in my own country, not knowing so much about where, I've, where I come from. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's disconnect from where your roots are, being so far away from it. I always treasure that I have Māori roots and want to go back to the East Coast and spend more time there. We should go once a year. Yeah, at we least, should, you know, we should at go least up. minimum. Yep. That Every would be summer, good. that'll be cool. Yeah, well, Uncle Paul will love that. <laughs> <laughs> That first half an hour, I was just like, oh my gosh, everyone needs to get out of the room because I just, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then by the end, I was saying in another language and it was starting to feel like second nature, which was, which was so cool. I think our country generally needs to learn more about, you know, Māori culture and te reo Māori. I feel like as I'm making more effort for myself. I'm seeing people around me also start to make the same effort. That's totally driving me right now um, to do and learn more. Achievement, goodness, is what I'm feeling. Yeah.